Okay, stopping for a stop sign here. We do have a car on the left here that is turning and we do have two cars coming this way, so it should not go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take over. Well, that was short because this car is turning in front of us and we have one more car that we have to yield to over here. Autopilot or FSD failed to yield to cars turning left in front of us. So if you guys don't remember, this recording here sends stuff to the Autopilot team. So I did disengage here. I'm gonna wait for this car to go and then I'm gonna re-engage Autopilot. Full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. And it does see that it is clear and it is clear. So we are gonna go. So just like you see me doing here, keep your hands always on the wheel, just as tech Tesla recommends. Okay, our light is turning green here. We have a green arrow. There's no cross traffic coming that I see. And a very smooth left turn out of the FSD into the left lane. Now in about a half mile, you can see we're gonna make a right turn. So let's see when it does transition over to the right lane. And here it goes, going into the right lane with a right lane change. So we are gonna make a right here. We're following this pickup truck in front of us. It was a good job getting in this right turn lane. So you can see how quickly that pickup truck went because we do have our own lane as long as it stays in this lane. So it comes to a full stop. It's waiting for oncoming traffic and still waiting. And I'm gonna go ahead and push the accelerator. Be mindful that if we stay in this lane, it will be fine. And it was navigating, although it did take some encouragement so i did have to push the pedal a little bit just for it to kind of make that right turn at that stoplight so we are going to see these vehicles over here start to come over this expedition is going to get over rather quickly but the fsd beta is doing a good job slowing down giving it plenty of space and now it wants to change lanes in and around that is a left turn only lane. So the car was trying to get into this left hand turn lane. Um, I guess it didn't know that and just kind of pass all these vehicles. So we do need to follow this expedition. It is kind of splitting the difference here, which is incorrect. It's almost showing blue like it needs to get up there. Oh, I guess. My bad, it is following, uh, it is gonna turn right on this Huron Street. So it can go over. I wonder if I give it some encouragement. Apply a slight light steering force, some encouragement. You saw two cars pass. It has plenty of room over there. Now it looks like it's gonna take it and it does take it. So after two cars passed us, it did have some phantom braking right there. There's nobody in front of us and we can easily make this right turn here. Okay, so here's that poor weather detected again. So it looks like the rain picked up enough. Um, and then we got this full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected message once more. It's kind of hilarious that this is a short dump truck right over here. And on the screen, it is showing a short 18 wheeler. So pretty cool that the visualization is able to kind of shorten the full 18 wheeler that you typically get into this kind of short 18 wheeler. Very awesome. All right, green light here and we're gonna go straight forward. So I have noticed every few minutes, the rain has remained, I would say steady. Um, it's definitely not heavy rain, it's steady. But every few minutes I do get the audible alert here 
that it has been downgraded. So transitioned over into this left-hand turn lane. The rain is still pretty steady. We still have this message down here alerting us with a quick audible beep. That's every few minutes. You guys can probably hear the rain. We're in the left-hand turn lane. We have after this left turn, less than a half a mile until we need to make a right turn. So it's gonna have to transition pretty quickly over to the right lane after this turn. Green arrow and we're making that left turn now. Beautifully done and we need to make the lane change right about now. And that is not the correct way. So it is going the exact opposite way that we need to go. So I did disengage there. So that could be a navigation issue. It's saying for some reason we need to make a left onto the Orchard Parkway. So we need to actually turn right into here. So I am gonna go ahead and disengage and make the right turn. No idea why uh, the navigation navigation directions were inaccurate and tried to make a left instead of a right. So that is definitely gonna be a limiter in terms of the FSD is the navigation directions. Uh, if they're wrong, then somebody's gonna be really upset and um, you know quick to take over. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, see you in the next one.